Okay, I'm going to try this jig out now. Uh, camera is a bit close because I'm in a small space as usual. So I, uh, you're not going to be able to see my face. I know you're really upset about that. Anyways, I'm going to put the jig on here and set it up and show you how it works. I hope. So here's the jig. It uh, rides in the miter slot here. And then it has a stop on the back side here. You can see this right there. This little part there stops up against the edge of the table. So I can put it on, slide it forward. Then I have to set up this, and there's a, a handle on the bottom here. I just loosen. <coughs> so I have my dividers here that are set to the, uh, the diameter of the uh, blank that I'm going to cut now. You set that to the middle of the post. From the middle of the blade to the middle of the post there. Okay, that's a six millimeter uh, machine screw there, or bolt, I guess. And I've got a hole that's drilled in the middle of my blank that's uh, six and a half millimeters. It'll leave a little bit of space, but not too much. Another thing that I have here is this is basically PAM, uh, non stick uh, spray that you would use in cooking. And I spray it on the blade as I'm cutting because this is really green wood and I find that it helps with the not getting so much build up on the blade and it just seems to work better. <sighs> so this is the tricky part here. This is the smallest blank I have here and it's heavy <laughs> to say the least. And to get it up onto here onto the table and get it onto here I think actually when I think about it maybe I'll put a clamp. Whoa! I'll put a clamp on this over here so that this because the table falls off. Maybe I can I don't know if that's going to work. Hang on a second. We'll fix this in post. Oh yeah, that works. And now that hopefully won't fall off and land on my toe. Oh, here's my blank. It's big and it's oak and it's heavy. Oh, oh, I can take this and look underneath here and line up the hole on the hole. Okay, now I can take this off. So. The beauty of this jig that I see compared to other jigs is when you're starting out, you slide it in. So you don't, like, I, I don't want the bark on the very edge. I actually want to start from the edge of the wood. So I can actually cut all the bark off on the two sides anyways. So let's go. It's kind of lightweight, so I gotta go slow. You have the dust collector running because it's so loud. Also, this dust isn't harmful because it's wet. If it falls out of the air, it doesn't cause any kind of breathing problems, really. Anyways, that's it. This thing works pretty slick. And I can move it out and then I can take the blank off. It always sticks a little bit. Oh, whatever. Come on, get off of there. Maybe I need to make a 7mm hole because it's stuck on the post. Arg. I'll take the whole thing off. Anyways, there's the blank. Nicely cut. Simple. The only thing I do next is I take all of these chunks because I have to throw these in my garbage. I'm shouting now. I shouldn't be. I have the headphones on. Um, I got to put all this in my regular trash because otherwise it's just impossible to get rid of stuff here in Tokyo. So these big chunks, the problem with them is they have all these sharp edges on them and they rip my bags to pieces. So I always take them and just cut them up into bits and try to cut these sharp corners off just to cause the trouble in the trash bag. You get the picture. This jig really works. 
I'll try to put a link in the uh, description of the video from the guy that I saw it on YouTube. I don't know if he invented it or what, but boy, it really works. I used a piece of one inch, well, 24 millimeter subflooring. Stop shouting again. 24 millimeter uh, uh, subflooring is a Hinoki. It's a really, really good, stable, strong, and cheap product here. I can buy it relatively inexpensively. I use it for a lot of jigs. It's not doesn't have a nice finish on it, but it works really well for this because you need on these big blanks of this, you need some strength in there. Half inch plywood just wouldn't work, it would be all over the place. Anyways, that's it. Stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands. Take care. Bye bye.